Hello, I'm John, and this is Sound Reaction. Today, we're going to take a look at beat matching using warp in arrangement view. This is really handy if you're looking to crossfade between two songs that originally have different tempos, or you're looking to make a remix. So let's get started. The first thing to note is that I have two audio files on two separate tracks. Each one has warp turned off, and the session is set to its default, which is 120 BPM. We're going to start by finding the tempo of this first audio file, because we're going to match the tempo of the second audio file to the first. To do that, I need to find a downbeat, identify the tempo, and then turn warp on. So let's go. I'm going to zoom in, and let's have a quick listen. That downbeat is right about here. I'm going to make my cut and delete what I don't need for now. I'm going to turn my grid back on and I'll set it to one bar. For this example, I'll bring it out to bar one. And let's listen with the click with the tempo set at 120 to see where we're at. And I think we can tell the tempo of the session is much faster than the tempo of the song. If I click and drag the tempo bar, I can bring this in to match the tempo of the song. I think we're right about 92 BPM, so let's have another listen. That sounds really good. The next thing we're going to do is select this clip, turn warp on, and when we do that, we're greeted with a initial warp marker. When I right click on this marker, I can select uh, warp from here, start at 92 BPM. This is going to ensure that the downbeats fall on the grid. Let's have a listen to make sure that everything is still in time at the end of this clip. Sure enough, it is. The next thing we need to do is adjust the tempo of this clip to match this clip. So let's have a listen and see where we're at in relation to 92 BPM. This clip is much slower than 92 BPM. So let's go ahead and find our downbeat. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, make it a little more obvious that we're on the downbeat, right about here. I'll now turn my grid back on and snap it to the grid. I'll go ahead and turn warp on. I'll zoom in right click on my first warp marker and say warp here at 92 BPM. This now conforms this audio file to the session tempo of 94 BPM, 92 BPM. Let's have a listen. And that sounds pretty good. All right. Now all that's left to do is to create our remix or our blend of two tracks. Let's find a place where we want it to start. I'm going to take that vocalization ah and slide it down to the downbeat of measure 41 in this case. Let's have a listen and see how it sounds.
All right. I'd say that was pretty successful. If you have ideas, comments, or suggestions for other videos, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thank you.